Hey guys, North Prologue here, and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be going into the genius of the Counter-Strike franchise. So for all the dirty console gamers here, Counter-Strike is a gaming franchise that's been going around since the early 2000s, and it's a first-person shooter that revolves around counter-terrorists and terrorists. In the 15 years that this franchise has been around, it's gained a massive following and the big esports scene. To see how big Counter-Strike's impact has been, let's look at the most played games on Steam at the moment. Counter-Strike at the moment is second place, and it stays at second place most of the time. So let's look at why this game's so big. So right off the bat, I think I can answer this question in a single word. This word being simplicity. In an era where first person shooters are trying to be the most customizable and the most personalized, Counter Strike brings it back to basics and just relies on pure skill. This really does give Counter Strike the upper hand in the first person shooter scene, because like many other genres, the first person shooter scene has become pretty much bullshit. Like games like Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's not much skill anymore, it's pretty much just a lot of luck, and that just shit is not meant to be in the first person shooter genre. To see the difference, let's look at a first person shooter that's recently come out. This is of course Battlefield 1, everyone's favorite so and so realistic first person shooter. In Battlefield 1, when you die, it's most likely going to be by a 6 year old sitting in the back of the map who's going 3 and 0, and in general is being a little whiny little bitch who doesn't want to actually play the game like it's fucking supposed to be played. In Counter Strike, though, whenever I get killed, I don't really feel cheated out. Whenever you die, it's most likely your fault, and the only reason you died is because you weren't as skilled as the other player. This also ties into why Counter Strike is so big as an esport. This simplicity makes it so that you can really good get at the mechanics and learn all of them, and instead of just trying to grasp all of these mechanics, you could sit down and you could just keep on practicing and practicing the core mechanics that Counter-Strike is built on, and in general, just get better and better. Like, being good at Counter-Strike isn't really rocket science. You just need to be quick-minded and you need to know how to shoot. Also, the fairness of Counter-Strike's gameplay makes it so that a good player will always prevail against a shitty player. This is great for esports because this means that the better player will always be rewarded. To see the difference, let's look at everyone's favorite gaming franchise, Call of Duty. In Call of Duty, say if little Jimmy, the 9 year old, has really great luck and every time he turns a corner, little Jimmy gets lucky and gets a kill, pretty much little Jimmy is going to win the game when other players could have been much more skilled at the core aspects of the game. And yeah, definitely in Counter-Strike, there are some times where you could just turn a corner and you can get a cheap kill with a shotgun. But in Counter-Strike, it's a lot less likely to happen just because of Counter-Strike's system. It rewards intelligent people for not being a dumbass and turning a corner where there's clearly a fucking enemy. Oh, and that leads into another aspect that I love about Counter-Strike. That being the shooting. In Counter-Strike, the shooting is crisp, and it is complicated, but at the same time extremely simple. In Counter-Strike, the majority of weapons have spray patterns, and pretty much, if you hold down, the gun will just be a fucking hose, and bullets will go everywhere. But if you take a couple steps back, and actually take your Adderall pills, you'd realize that you're better off for some weapons to just tap the mouse once, for an accurate shot. This forces you to understand the gun that you're using and to make sure that you understand every aspect of its spray pattern and if you're better off just spraying like the P90 or just tapping like the AK. It also adds a nice skill process to the game because it actually rewards you for actually taking the time to learn the game's mechanics, not like a game like Call of Duty, where every gun just shoots the same and and every gun might as well just be a reskin of the last. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So if you're still here, I thank you for watching the video, and pretty much just like, comment, subscribe, and just reply why you like Counter-Strike so much, because we all know Counter-Strike's a pretty kick-ass franchise, and in general, just Play some Counter-Strike, maybe drink some Mountain Dew, I don't fucking know, do whatever you want to do with your life. And in general, just stay enlightened. Bye.